Okay, after um, the running of proper surface footage like we saw in the last video of 800 surface footage, the, the depth of cut starts out shallow, three thousandths, and then it steps up three thousandths of an inch for every step to thirty thousandths deep up here. And looking at this, I can see no real difference in the finish all the way down. I would say possibly the chip control got a little better as the depth of cut got deeper. Um, with the naked eye, I can't really see too much difference in the, in the finish. Now, I'm gonna set this down another uh, 30 thousandths or 35 thousandths or so, so we take a, a complete cut with the roughing tool, and then I'm gonna reduce the surface footage. I have to start at a high surface footage first because my as my diameter reduces, I run out of speed on this machine for higher surface footages because it, it only goes to 1600 RPM. And I have to uh, start at the larger diameters and go down because of that. I know it would make better sense to start at the slower surface footages at the bigger diameters, but I'll run out of speed on the spindle when I get down here. So what I'm gonna do is offset everything down 35 thousandths of a, um, well actually 60, let's say 70 thousandths on the diameter. I'm just gonna do this with the offsets of the tools instead of making new programs. And except I'm gonna go in and edit the program. I'm gonna reduce the surface footage. Let's go down to say 400 surface footage and try it from 800. We'll reduce it in half because I know we'll see, we should see some difference there in it. We, we determined in the last pro and the last video that this 800 was about the ideal speed for this material. This is the same piece of material as the previous video on this. So, and it seems like it worked out pretty good. See, it's, I can't see any difference just, or even feel any difference. So let me edit the program and change things a little bit and we'll rerun the tools again. All right, we're ready to start it again. I should have said, I'm not gonna change the surface footage of the roughing tool. I'm gonna leave that alone because we're not concerned with roughing here, just the finish cut. And I've reduced, I, I offset everything down 65,000, so that should be enough for the roughing tool to clean up here. And then uh, we're gonna run the same finish pass at the same feed rate, but at 400 surface footage.
All right, that was the, the half the surface footage, 400. And the same depths of cut as it goes down, it starts, there's 10 steps and each depth increases three thousandths of an inch. So it's three thousandths, six thousandths, nine, so on, all the way up to 30 thousandths depth of cut as it gets down to here to the shoulder. Now, I can see a definite difference in here. You can see it very clearly, or at least I can. I don't know if the camera picking is picking that up. That good? Maybe like that you can see it. Right about here, the finish starts to improve. And then it gets better and better. And, and up here, at the 30,000th depth of cut, the finish is just about as good as the 800 service footage. So this is interesting. It, it's telling us something. If you can't get the speed, you need to increase the depth of your finish cut to get a, a good finish compared to surface footage, if that makes sense. Now, I want to try this again, but this is at 5,000 speed. Both of these cuts were at 5,000 speed per revolution on the finish tool. And um, what I want to do is, is do exactly the same thing as I did here, but I want to reduce the feed rate. I'll reduce the feed rate to half. I'll half it to two and a half thousandths per revolution on the finishing tool. And let's see what happens with that. But, but I'll, I'll remain at 400 surface footage for the finish speed. Okay, what are we seeing here now? To so reducing the speed, the feed rate, pretty much messed the whole finish up all the way down here to here. The, it feels smooth up here. It feels quite rough out here. In the shallower depths of cut. And remember, we started 3,000 step to cut and we increased 3,000 all the way up to 30,000 step to cut up here with the steps the roughing tool made, 10 of them. 10 steps. So, I'm gonna say right now that um, if you got a very shallow depth of cut, you want higher surface footage and a little bit higher feed rate to get a decent finish. You know, like let's say you're sneaking up on a dimension. I don't know if you can hear me over that air compressor, but let's say you're sneaking up on a dimension and you cut you know, within a few thousandths of your finished size, you mic it. You say, I've got to make an offset change. But if, if you're getting a finish like this down here, and you're going to take even a shallower depth of cut for your, for your second finish pass, you're going to have to do something or you're, or you're, you're going to get either repeat the same bad finish or, or get even worse because your depth of cut is too shallow. So you have to increase the surface footage or do a combination of increasing the feed rate slightly and increasing the surface footage. Because we can see that decreasing the feed rate, I don't, I don't know if you can see this very good, but you can see how the finish doesn't look shiny anymore up here. And then the last one with the 5,000 speed rate, but the 400 surface footage, it started, it started to look pretty decent up here, pretty shiny, but now it's lost all of its shine and down here, this is, this is, um, well, this would be unacceptable for me if I was making a, like an O-ringed 
seal or, or you know or finish on a bore or something like that this wouldn't be a good enough finish this isn't like a 32 or anything like that here looks a little bit rougher than that this might be a 32 but it's it's lost its shine i like to kind of see that shiny finish when i'm machining things and um if you're gonna if you're gonna have a deep depth of cut for your finish pass you can reduce the surface footage and, and achieve a pretty good finish if the cut is very shallow like you saw we cut all the way across here at 800 surface footage and the finish was pretty much uniform didn't matter about the depth of cut at the right surface footage that we determined on the the other test part on the previous video um i'm trying to think of maybe i'll run this at 600 surface footage at the lower feed rate let's try that let's see what that does all right here we go everything's the same except the surface footage on the finish cut is going to be 600 surface footage instead of 400 on this one and i set everything down another 65 thousandths on the diameter all right what do we see in here Let's see if i can get you closer in here maybe you can see a little better i can definitely see the first half inch step so this was three thousand step to cut at that surface footage that's not a deep enough depth to cut with that slow a feed rate combination it gets a little better the second half inch it's not too bad it's a little better and then after that it's pretty difficult to tell the difference so the finish gets pretty good as it goes up here and, and the depth of cut after maybe about one the third depth so we got three um six nine thousand so around the ten thousand step the cut area nine to ten thousandths it starts to get pretty good at 600 surface footage so the depth of cut is important along with the surface footage. Okay, so what have we what have we learned here? Lower surface footage, deeper depth of cut leaves a better finish. And if you get the right surface footage, it didn't seem to matter what the the depth of cut was at the 5000 speed rate but I, I still didn't really try this at eight, 800 surface footage at the two and a half thousandths feed rate. The part is getting a little bit warm here. I think I'm gonna let it cool down and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try the 800 surface footage finish cut with the two and a half thousandths feed rate and see what that looks like. And like I said before, it's kind of important if you're chasing in a dimension and you you cut it a little big and then you have to recut a finish pass in this soft steel it's you're it's important that you uh increase the surface footage for that finish pass the second time or you're gonna you're gonna end up with something like this I, like you i don't know if you can see that at this angle maybe that's a little better you can see the the first half an inch at this shallow depth of cut was having problems and maybe the next two gets up to about here from what I can see it might be hard for you to see with the camera and it starts to get better from then on so let's see if if at the proper speed this doesn't make any difference at all we'll see it didn't on the first time I ran it at 5,000 speed but let's just see at two and a half thousand speed the finish feel just feeling the finish up here it feels real good we are back 
parts cooled down. Um, rubbing tool is the same. Set everything down another 65 thousandths. The finished pass is going to be 800 surface footage at two and a half thousand speed per revolution on this one. Just to see if if we can improve this little area up here with the proper surface footage. this out of there what do, what do we see in here now we're seeing pretty much no difference between all the depths that cut so at the proper surface footage depth of cut isn't seem to make any difference at all at least at, down to this um, 3000 depth of cut so that seems to be most important surface footage but if you can't do that the depth of cut helps to improve the surface footage if you can't get up to the speed you need and the feed rate increasing the feed feed rate seems to help it a little bit too so this is the identical piece of material as i did the previous video with the steps in it for the different surface footages from all the way from 200 to a thousand in, in 10 steps on that so if you haven't seen that video go watch it and you'll see this will kind of make more sense to you I guess but I'm seeing here that um, at 800 surface footage and at two and a half thousand speed it looks good in fact the finish is, is is pretty much the same all the way down I can't really with my naked eye tell too much difference I mean there might be a little bit of difference from here out not enough to worry about really the chip control of course isn't as good with the slower feed rate on the finish tool and uh, i'm not going to test a bunch of different parameters here because i don't think i, I personally wouldn't feed a sir uh, you know a finishing tool much slower than this two and a half thousandths and i really wouldn't go much faster than the five the tip radius of my insert is thirty thousandths of an inch so by the time we get down here we're taking the full tip radius in the depth of cut down here now I don't I don't usually like to take like deep depths of cut like that 30 thousandths deep I settled around 10 to 15 thousandths and we saw in the in the previous example on the a little bit slower surface footage that it started to improve around the 9 to 10 thousandths depth of cut so generally speaking that's where I work around the 10 thousandths depth of cut for my finish passes I'm not saying that's the best thing to do or, the, or if you're doing something different that you're doing it wrong I'm just saying that's what I always have done I've never actually run a test like this where I did all different depths of cuts and some different speeds and feeds I, I always uh, kind of have learned this and kind of know the ballpark I want to go to but this material I picked this material intentionally and I think I can see a little bit of a red paint residue on here so I think this is 1018 steel I'm not sure that might be rust but but the waves machine I'm thinking it's around 1018 steel something like that so this is a, a, a you know a low carbon soft steel so in in um, more uh, higher alloys say like 4140 or something like that this would be easier to get a good finish than this material so this is why I intentionally picked this piece of material because I know I would see differences in finish with different um, surface footages. Like I say, if it's heat treated or like a commercial heat treat 4140, you wouldn't have to worry quite as much as far as the surface footage. And like a, on this machine, I can't polish because I can't run this spindle with the doors open. So I have to hit the finish with the machining operation. I can't come in here and polish short of hitting it by hand with Scotch Pride or with a um, 
a scotch brett wheel on a die grinder or something like that i really can't do anything else but cut it to the finish i not i want the way they they've um the safety uh, interlocks on these doors you get you a closer look maybe you can see all the way remember we could see that first little half an inch on the 600 surface footage we can't see it now so uh, I, I don't know i hope this is useful to somebody and you learn something thanks for watching